Hello everyone, and today I just wanted to show you something a little different. My updated retro corner. Um, I got a new CRT a few months ago off Facebook for free, and I'd been waiting for the right time to do a video follow-up on how my retro corner is at the moment. So I've pieced together some footage here, and I just thought I'd uh, run through it. So obviously it's a big one. I believe it's a 80 centimeters, which is about 31, 32 inches. Uh, all I knew is that it was very heavy and it killed my back uh, <laughs> getting it up into the house. But no, it's fantastic. It's a wonderful uh, CRT. It has S-Video and everything. So it's a really nice featured uh, CRT here. And I just thought I'd go through it running some particular games and different consoles and how I've got my setup up there at the moment on the second story. So I've uh, migrated it into a IKEA 8 cube shelf. Uh, I've seen lots of YouTubers and, and video collection people having that as their little setup, as you can see here. So I've just got the console games, uh, the consoles down the bottom with the games, and it's just a lot easier to manage. Uh, the cable management is kind of a bit of a pain that I'm still working through, uh, just with zip ties and switch boxes and everything. As you can see running here, it's uh, Terminator vs. Robocop. Uh, these are all just running on demo mode, just to show you for example. Um, they look amazing on CRT, the colours really pop, uh, the clarity and the sharpness, nice full screen, and obviously all these games are intended to be 4x3, uh, obviously today's screens are all 16.9, so that obviously makes it very different, but yeah, they just look great on this uh, this TV. And even, as you can see there to the left, uh, I just have a, an Xbox 360, probably my newest console up here at all, um, and that also runs just with uh, a composite out onto the uh, TV and it runs pretty well as well. Uh, so you can see down there the consoles that I've got just set up at the moment. I can swap them in and out whenever I wish. Uh, it's really nice like that. So at the moment as you can see it's just running um, Extreme G on the Nintendo 64. Again just in demo mode. Uh, and these are wonderful. Uh, being an S-Video uh, TV you can plug it in via S-Video which I run off the PlayStation 1 slash PS2, uh, the Super Nintendo will run it, the Nintendo 64 will run it, the GameCube will run it as well. As you can see there, it's trying to keep up with the frame rate, uh, so you shoot this in 24 hertz. That way it can pick up uh, the refresh rate of the CRTs. But yeah, fantastic console, really a uh, TV, or should I say, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Um, it's nice playing them on the the hardware that they were intended. So as you can see here, you've got the NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, original Xbox, down the bottom we've got PlayStation, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, and the Master Mega Drive 2. Uh, so that's what I've got plugged in at the moment. Uh, here you can see it demoing the PS1. Uh, I don't have a lot of PS1 games, I don't really collect for that. But this is Need for Speed 3 running on it, and yeah, they just run great, sound great, and it's a lot of fun. And this is a great one to show, for example, because it has uh, full motion video uh, in the intros and such, and they just play so well on a TV, obviously. If we pan up here, you can see that it'll just run wonderful video as well, and they just, you know, they're almost DVD quality, which is really cool, and I enjoy that quite a lot. Uh, that was a nice little feature of the PlayStation, being a disc media uh, console, that it could run that as well. As you can see here, um, yeah, all these awesome supercars uh, of the time and the cool music they had in the game. It's quite an awesome series. But yeah, that's just a fun one that I have. Um, it's just loose, like I, I don't collect uh, specifically for PlayStation at all. Um, it's just a loose game that I always have. It's, it's my tester game whenever I change things around or play it on different equipment. It's a cool little uh, Photoshop effect there. But yeah, it's changing over from this now. Uh, I will slowly show you a transition to how I've got it set up as well. Need to speed hop suit three there. All right, so Super Nintendo running here, and here you can see my switcher boxes. So the larger black one is an S video one. The smaller one is just your normal composite. Uh, so that's every console plugged in. So there's eight consoles below, uh, and they look fantastic. And if you have a look here. It's just pixel sharp, pixel perfect. Just keep zooming and zooming and zooming and get it into focus. And then just, yeah, just beautiful color tube pixels. It's just the way it's designed. 
So that's the consoles that I've got here at the moment. I mean, they're fantastic. I'll show you here running uh, Mega Man 4 as I end out this video. It's just nothing too big. I just wanted to show you sort of how I've got it set up at the moment. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and here you go. We're starting. Away we go. And just uh, watch me getting my butt kick in Mega Man, Mega Man 4 as always. Just a bit of fun. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how nice it looks. Um, just obviously filming it here with my phone just to show you for an example. But yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful setup, and I'd love to know what you guys have got set up in your retro corners. Alright guys, it was just a short video. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing as always, and I'll see you in the next video.